My friend went to one of the summer activities, his cousin, and on the way home got hit by a drunk driver, and I remember going to the funeral, and I just, the, the vivid imagery of his mother around the casket was just something that I, could, I can't even get out of my head, and I just think about how many people don't get intoxicated like that, and we, we promote not drinking to kids, but yet so many adults don't know how to drink, and then they act like kids when they're drunk. So it's funny, like the hypocrisy, like we, t we try to teach not to drink and then we can't even handle our own liquor. A lot of the adult population. So uh, I wrote this piece basically just to talk about the experience of uh, <coughs> drunk driving. I always wonder whether angels drank a gin and tonic. Ever sip on an apple martini or more ideally stick to the henny ever since Eve left the bad aftertaste in God's food of choice. If fruit of the loom makes seatbelts as tight as briefs, a Crayola squeezed the creativity, invented more colors, maybe the pear on your family's face wouldn't be so permanent. Allergic to the side of his corpse, stone heavy tears brew with remorse as he lays desolate in spirit, she motionless like a paraplegic. Never figuring that shot a Jaeger made would wager his future in seconds. Second guessing last words said, witnessing what open heart surgery feels like wide awake, as compressions only collect more images of his first bike ride. First hundred of his vocabulary tests. The scene leaves everyone's mind speeding. Steering wheels, familiar like his mother's voice. Rearview mirrors, familiar like his father's absence. So he made a habit of never looking back. Red lights look like Ferris wheels at night. Wheels at night were the only thing intact enough to identify. So bite this line with your tequila. Eager to be the life of the party, vows never made you care less. From caresses to guzzles on the dance floor to that boy who wore towels around his neck, wanting to fly like Superman. Too bad superheroes didn't have to worry about windshields, and our falls don't crack the concrete. The only thing left will be the skin marks in the streets and the hiccup in your mother's heartbeats that is relentless every morning at 4.11 a.m. The alarm clock doesn't ring the same. Stains on pillowcases remain, daring her to wash it like her own antique seashell she never intended to collect. God forbid you ask her why the curtains look so dusty or the snap plate so moldy. She's preserved you like an artifact, her most sacred one, priceless and iconic. Her sonnet that breaks church hearts on Sunday. She's bonded her withdrawal. Band-aids don't come in sizes big enough to cover up this wound, but pint glasses do. So she'll replicate you in her sprints to finish. Race you until the tingle on her spine is identical to yours. You went from big mountain dreams to a pebble in today's traffic, and no one will notice you. You'll be the reason for sirens and the funny guy during last call at the bar who tipped well and drove better, but not tonight when you drove past enough stoplights into red lights, revealed your dim pupils, and you became a fugitive to your mother's embrace. And unfortunately, why no one will remember, she will never be able to forget. The reminder of dreams deferred. You think it's a coincidence that she likes her men tall and dark, like Jack Daniels and the Rocks preferred. Served with early eviction notices. Your termination of human has been approved. Nobody noticed the stumbles, the mumbles, the bloodshot eyes. She made sure to remind everyone what it looked like when she glued her arms around caskets descending, screaming, Bobby. No te vayas, baby, please don't go. I always wondered whether well, angels drank a cranberry vodka or dipped cherries in pina coladas. Unfortunately, too many people now know the answer to that question and too many of our angels are gaining their wings premature. So before you open that door and drive under the influence, you better understand the consequence that your life has on others. Because when we look up to the sky, we should never see angels flying before their time. Thank you.